Hello everyone, my name is Hilde and welcome back to my channel. Uh, yesterday my husband Bert and I went to Lille in France because you know the borders are open again and nobody's gonna catch anything off us. Um, so we went and went to go shopping basically and um, I bought some things. First of all, we went to Fure du Nord, which is like a bookshop lifestyle store. They have like loads of things, magazines, water bottles, Krunkens, and um, I have a bunch of Krunken backpacks, but I did not have the... I think this is called the tote pack. You can convert this into backpack straps if you want. It's very comfortable or you can just like carry it like this or carry it as a tote because then it flips back up and um yeah it's super practical has two side pockets front pockets and then it opens up obviously and it also like all other Kunkun backpacks has which is what is basically a yoga yoga mat in the back um, but that can be like super practical when you're out in the bind and need to sit on something. Um, it saved my butt a couple of times, or I should say my skirts butt area. But yeah, <laughs> butts aside, um, yeah, it has another inside pocket and uh, stuff in it because I um, I went to the packaging table at, which has a pair of scissors and clipped off the label and basically just started using it straight off the bat um, but I also got other things at Fure but I'm just going to try to show you the inside bit better I don't think if it, if it shows up uh, I don't think it shows up but I tried but yeah I also got a French Jules Verne pocket for my collection this is a uh, Lille Mysterieuse, Mysterious Island um, it's not my favorite book, but it does have Nemo and it's sort of the sequel to 20,000 Leagues, which I collect. So I figured I'd grab one because these pockets, the red ones, are actually my favorites because they have um, the original art in it as well. So yeah, love these. Um, I collect a couple of Jules Verne uh, copies, mostly around the world in 80 days and 20,000 leagues under the sea but I will also grab uh, the castle in the Carpathians Carpathian castle, it depends on what it's uh, Chateau Carpath so it kind of depends on how it gets translated but um, and I will occasionally also grab a mysterious island but usually it's just 20,000 leagues and uh, uh, around the world in 80 days and yeah books <laughs> I also got this manga um, The Witch and the Beast. It's it's actually in French. It just has an English title and it seems really cool. This is the first one so I figured like I'll give it a go. If I like it I will continue trying to collect it and if not I will give it to my friend Laura. So Laura if you watch this <laughs> you may be getting a manga <laughs> or not um, but if you want to read it I will lend it to you. And then we went to Zephora or as English-speaking people know it as Zephora, which is actually a French chain, believe it or not. And um, I got a few things. Well, actually, I went to two Zephora. I went to um, the one at Grand Place, like the main square, and then I went to the one in the mall, but everything is just in one bag, so I'm just gonna go through all of it. I got these um, energy booster supplements. I heard good things about them. And usually I'm not really into supplements, especially when they're not in the pharmacy. Um, but yeah, I, I read the ingredients and there's really nothing dubious inside. Well, nothing that could be actually harmful. So I decided to give them a go and they're not more expensive than pharmacy supplements. So I might as well try, you know. And then I got the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. I I love Too Faced. I know Too Faced is also like, like pretty much every makeup brand these days. Not all that good or whatever. That I, I know there's been some issues like with collabs and people getting shafted and whatnot. And I recognize that it can be problematic, but 
I feel like pretty much every makeup brand is and my skin is my skin is problematic so I don't actually have the luxury to be super super picky but I do try to um yeah you can see my tripod now but yeah these are the colors I really like it but yeah like I said I, I do try to be aware and cognizant about what brands get up to um but I feel like Too Faced hasn't effed up badly enough for me to want to risk my skin and a repeat of the infamous glam glow uh, incident from a couple of years ago which I will link down below where basically this entire area of my skin got damaged and it was damaged for years literal years it was like constantly peeling and looking like a burn scar and that actually got sorted out by the Too Faced serum so I have some um, pretty big brand loyalty to Too Faced and they have to F up spectacularly before I say like, okay, I, this is where I draw the line. But enough about me liking Too Faced because they're nice to my skin. I got some watermelon hand soap from uh, the Sephora house brand. I mean, I find that they consistently have some really nice products, so I tend to buy them. I also have it in um, coconut. Because I like hand soaps and like everyone else, I use them a lot. I have these pocket makeup wipes. I'm not super into pocket wipes, um, especially not when they're not biodegradable and stuff. Um, it does say 99% natural origin ingredients. But still, it's only 10 wipes, they're not biodegradable, it's plastic packaging. And I try to avoid that, like... My regular wipes are biodegradable, my big ones, but just to go in my handbag, the smaller package can be practical. I um, have a makeup sponge and it's also a Sephora one. I've never used these before, but they're way cheaper than the Black Beauty blenders I usually use. So I figured I'd try it at least once because if it's better or just as well, then well, just as good then I can save a lot of money by just getting these. Then I have no strips. They're carcoral no strips. Carcoral? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I will have to ask an English friend, English speaking friend. And I've only the, already used one this morning and it was actually pretty good. I liked it a lot. And um, yeah, you know how it is. A lot of gunk will come out of your nose. Well, the skin of your nose. I also have shadow insurance, eyeshadow primer. Always practical to have an eyeshadow primer. Then I have some samples that they gave me, which I will probably give to my friend Claire. Claire, if you watch it, samples. <laughs> I keep on dumping samples on her. Oh, and uh, another sample. Claire, another sample. <laughs> but yeah, and then I have some cucumber eye masks. I really like these, but they're not always available. They come and go. I mean, I know that Zephora has an, a, a habit of like having really good products and then just discontinuing them. But this one is just like, it's there, it's discontinued, it comes back. And it's just a vicious cycle of whether or not there will be an eye mask. And then this is my, uh, my birthday is in July, but for some weird reason I got my birthday present now. I think they may just like give them out when they see people in case they have to close up again. I don't know, but it is a, it says it's gift time. So I think this might actually be a, just a gift mask. I'm not sure, but it's um just a papaya vitamin C sheet mask. So, uh, Good stuff. I usually don't really like buying sheet masks for the waist issue, but sometimes I just will do it. And I've, I've been having a lot of skin issues, I think because of the weather and maybe not like sleeping badly because of the weather. Um, so yeah, I figured like if needs must, um, if it will fix my skin, I will give it a go, but I will try to avoid it as much as possible. We went to Bakery Paul, but like pretty much everything has gotten eaten. Bar one macaron, which got so beat up on the trip home. I'm too embarrassed to show it, but everybody knows what a macaron looks like. Paul has macarons about this size, so... Good stuff! I found this at Micromania, which I think is pronounced Micromania? Micromania? Uh, it's, it's a Zoe Funko! Um, 
and the box is slightly beat up which is probably why it was still available it was just available at regular price even so it was like 14 euros 15 maybe and look how cute he is i love the zobu he's one of my well or she because it never got into that but oh no it's missing a paw no <gasps> dang oh no well i have a zobu with a paw missing i guess i will have to Contact Micromania about that because I did not see that when it was in the box. Dang it! Oh well, uh, it's still cute. <laughs> but yeah, this is a, a three-legged Zoo. Oh well. You know, stuff happens. What I also got was this new Scamander Cupos kit. Some of the Cupos kit figures are so, so cute. And I really, really like this nude one. I'm gonna find scissors. Well, that took some serious faffing about because <laughs> you had all these bits in this plastic bag. Again, dang plastic. And um, then I had to assemble him, but uh, I succeeded. And here is Cupos Kit Nude. I think he's super 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 cute although I fear a bit about the stability so I think they're like literally made to be put together and then to be put down in a display case somewhere and left alone um, but yeah I think he's super adorable what I will say about Micromania is um, Micromania if you're, you're English speaking but I think they're only in French um, the Funko will just be on display in the box, but if you buy cute Posket figurines, the boxes will be empty. They will put the figurine in when you buy it and reseal it. So if you're like super picky about your boxes, um, this may not be the place to buy them for you. Even though they tend to be cheaper there because I've spent quite a bit less on that guy than I would have at another shop or a convention um yeah and i've also discovered that if you look very closely you can see he's missing a front paw which is probably why that zoo was still available and then after micromania uh, i went to uniqlo uh, because <laughs> i wanted to find purple socks and bras i did not find the purple socks i wanted but i did find bras and i found this t-shirt dress, it's um, a collab between Uniqlo and Marimeko and uh, it's just a pastel orange it's not coral, it, it might show up as coral on the screen but it is actually orange, a light orange and a uh, cream striped dress, it's a t-shirt dress, nothing special but I like it and then I got another t-shirt dress in this um, sort of boring brown color and that's just more sleeveless and uh, has a back seam but aside from the back seam there's nothing spectacular about it <laughs> but you know it's a cute dress and for those into what I feel is getting into the too much information zone comfy bras <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean like who doesn't like their bras comfy right I mean if you wear bras <laughs> If you don't wear bras, you're lucky that you don't have to bother with bras. The last shop I went to... Well, no, I lie. Um, we went to the Carrefour supermarket to find my favorite cup of tea, which is the white tea with lemon. And they stopped carrying the brand altogether. I was very sad, but it can't be helped. Thankfully, there's Dylan and Camilla for loose tea. So... I am not without this delicious tea to make iced tea with. But anyway, um, we went to La Droguerie as well. And uh, it's just like a haberdashery store, really. And they have these super cool house brand yarns. And I'm not entirely sure whether you, what they're really used for. I think they're kind of like multifunctional. Because I know people embroider with them and knit with them and I, you know, cool stuff. I want to put them in knitting for sure. Maybe some embroidery. I'm not sure yet. But um, this is uh, 
the, I think they're called the Voilette series. Let me double check that. Yeah. And this is a My Prince Charming, Mon Prince Charmant. My French is not that great, so some words I'm gonna stumble, but that basically translates to My Prince Charming. Chaudron Magique, Magic Cauldron. I love it because it has copper sparkle in it. And the other one was just burgundy with red and like cool beans. And then I have two of these because I cannot resist this color. This is Petit Diable, Little Devil. I think it would be more red for a devil, but you know. And then uh, Marquise des Anges. Um, what is a Marquise? It's like some kind of royalty, but I'm not sure what it is in English. Um, but yeah, that. But this ange is of the angels. And then I have Merlin L'Enchanteur. L'Enchanteur. Merlin the Enchanter. And this is for my friend Claire. And this is uh, with silver and blue sparkle. But yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got at La Droguerie. My cat's one. Oh, I see Salem. He's like... I hear a paper bag because he's been eyeing that bag since yesterday then when I came home from Lille and I'm gonna include this because it's like from the same day when I came home there were packages and this is something I ordered at large.be which is basically EMP you know the rest of Europe probably knows them as EMP well most of Europe but yeah this is a, uh, a canvas print and it's uh, the Weasley's Wizard Weasley's Electric Shock Shake. It's still in the plastic because it's better protected that way till I can hang it up. And then I also got a pair of spider web earrings. I'm not sure if you can see them. But yeah, they're just like kind of hoops with spider webs attached and they are by the EMP House brand. And I also got the Order of the Phoenix dress. I have been eyeing this. I think this is an, um, it's a Wizarding World branded one. And I think it's an EMP exclusive because I know they do collaborations with like the Wizarding World for stuff, but they've had it for the past couple of years, like at least two years before this year and I've always been like eyeing it and going mmm I want it and the back has this wing print and then the front has like the Order of the Phoenix logo which I'm thinking is Fox and then more wing print and the belt is a tassel belt mega synthetic and a Order of the Phoenix well, a phoenix. Not sure how well it shows up. A little phoenix. Um, yeah, it's super comfortable. I've tried it on in case I got the wrong size, but I didn't. It does run a bit small, I would say, because I've already sized up to an L and it just fits. So I would say like for sure size up. Then I got a book depository order and this is the Book of the Bazaar. Discover hundreds of freaky facts, including before he was a rock star, Rod Stewart worked as a gravedigger. Alfred Packer was the first man ever to be convicted, convicted of cannibalism in 1874. In Kentucky, it is against the law to dye a baby chick, duckling or rabbit, unless six or more are for sale at the same time. People in Kentucky, is this true? <laughs> Uh, the Bible is the number one book stolen in the United States. Ulysses and Grant's wife's psychic premonition saved Grant from the bullet of John Wilkes Booth. More than 700 million people worldwide host a blood-sucking hookworm? What? The <laughs> book depository order is the um, Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot. Uh, I... I really dig tarot and I would like to learn more about it and I've bought a few decks and uh, this is with art by Abigail Larson who I've been following on Instagram for ages and I love her art so obviously Nightmare Before Christmas plus art by Abigail Larson I had to have this and it comes with a guidebook that is written by Minerva Siegel 
and then the cards are just all in here underneath and yeah I I adore the art it's probably my favorite tarot deck that I own so yeah I will do a like not really a flip through well I guess a flip through in a card show uh, coming Halloween season for sure but yeah um, by the way I didn't buy any of these cool bags they're all bags I've owned for ages well minus the Kunkin but uh, I, I just take my bags when I go shopping and then lastly I also got in the mail three pins by Utterly Magical this is the Gryffindor house prefect one I mean like how amazing is this of all the prefect badges uh, well, pins I've seen like ever <laughs> this is definitely the most beautiful one and um I will probably wear it from time to time but it will look awesome on my pin board as well and then I have I'm losing bits the Marauders map chocolate frog card and they do come with these little inserts because these are frame pins meaning that you can put in your own image if you would want to but please be aware that it falls out so easily so I'm not entirely sure that these are for wearing maybe in like outfit shots where you aren't really far away and you can keep a really good out of, uh, eye on them but I wouldn't wear them out and about with an insert that you don't want to lose because look I've been losing them and I'm just sitting in the sofa trying to show them to you but yeah <laughs> this one come on this is the Weasley twins one the Weasley wizard Weasley's wizard Weasley's one and I could not resist like as you know Weasley's wizard Weasley's is my main collection and <laughs> I do love fantastic beasts clearly because this is also me we were at Food de Nord and they have a lot of geek stuff and Beth was like oh don't you want to buy some Harry Potter things I was like oh no I only collect Weasley Swift Weasley's things and I will not find them here and then we were at Micromania I was like oh Zoe oh Newt Scamander so <laughs> I try to limit myself to Weasley Swift Weasley's let's put it that way <laughs> but yeah as you can see that doesn't always work but <laughs> And that was it. Um, yeah, <laughs> muscles of chaos. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video full of random things. And if you did, please leave, it, give it a like, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And would like to see more randomness. <laughs> I am usually a tad more organized, at least a little bit. <laughs> but not always. And do leave a comment if what what did you like best that I got? Um, have you been trying these Sephora supplements? Uh, what do you think about them? Are are they like pr properly worth it and stuff? Um, but if you do leave a comment, please be kind. And uh, I will see you in the next one.